Okay, this is Paul, Inventor 3. <laughs> Believe me, that's hanging square. It's my lab and the Tesla coils that are crooked. Uh, let's see, in our last video, we did the experiment with the magnet through the copper tube, six feet long. Uh, hopefully I get a better picture this time. Uh, illustrating uh, magnetic fields uh, reacting with the copper, creating eddy currents, uh, uh, also uh, creating opposing magnetic forces, uh, illustrating lens law. Uh, our tube, our original six foot long copper tube, the ID is uh, 0.686. OD is 0.750 and best results were with our neodymium magnets. Uh, I have two of them here stuck together uh, that are 0.625 diameter by 0.500 long uh, which gives us approximately 0.030 thousandths uh, of an inch or 0.030 clearance on each side of our magnet between our magnet and the copper tube wall. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, in our last video we had it up to 20 seconds for the magnet to fall through a six foot long copper tube. Uh, I'm going to show you here this is uh, two magnets now I have glued uh, north to north. So we have south and south facing out right now. I used this little fixture here. The magnets fit right down into the center there. It helps me to super glue them together. Just use super glue. I just want to show you real quick this is some magnetic viewing paper. See how you could see the north and south poles there. What's interesting is now that I have them glued together you could see that the pole or axial divisions of north and south are slightly off-center. They're pushed off-center. If you look closely, let's see if I can get the pointer here this line is slightly not in center here. It's more down towards this end. Same thing up here. It's not in center. It's up. And also watch how the lines are coming out and curving upward. So just wanted to show you that so we know a little bit about what the field is looking like and doing. Okay, now, uh, also, what I have done is added two more copper tubes. So this is our original one up here that's six foot long. And I have taped on here, see how it gets larger in diameter. There's two additional tubes. So we have three tubes that are together. Now I'm going to show you this effect in one second here. I just want to give you all the info on it. Okay, we added a tube over our original first one. That was the dimensions that I gave you. The second tube is 0.775. OD is 0 0.875. We got it up to 30 seconds. In our first original video, we had 20 seconds. Okay, I added a third tube. Okay, now adding this and they're, they're all, the second tubes, uh, second and third tube are only five foot long, uh, as I just showed you a second ago. But these are the dimensions on the third tube: one inch 025 ID, OD one inch 125. Now we got the magnet fall through 40 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to show you south the south two magnets super glued together falling through the three tubes 
together. The one six foot tube and then the other two tubes added on that are five foot long that go down there. So there's a good space in between my aluminum ladder and the copper tubes so don't think they're affecting anything. Okay. Here we go. Let me get this centered here to make sure we get a good video here. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, drop. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's hard for me to keep my camera perfectly centered here. I'm trying my best. Come on, come on, come on. Every time I get over it, it's what the heck is going on? Come on get down there, get down there. Okay, it's still falling. Let me show you. Okay, still falling way down there. Whoa. Okay, you could have to watch on the videotape to how long this is actually taking here. And it should be, whoop, just fell. Just heard it, I hope you heard it. It's rolling over there on the floor. Should be 50 seconds. I'm gonna show you this effect one more time. Huh? I picked up the magnet, I got it back. This time, let's blow a crud off it here. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay. So without the magnets being glued negative to negative, I got 40 seconds. Right now, it's getting close. Still going, still going. Should be 50 seconds. Come on. Uh -huh. Now if I show you inside the tube again, sure enough it'll hit the paper at that exact second. There it goes. <laughs> okay. So, very interesting that we got an additional 10 seconds because we glued them together. And yes, of course, I'm gonna try a bunch of little ones now that are all 1 8 thick. Where's our other ones? Whoa. I don't wanna get them too close to each other. Whoop, not too late. Okay, well you can see them all now. Okay, so next is to glue all these back to back. Uh, first I want to, well I'm going to do a bunch of experiments with them yet to see if weight is a factor also. I'd like to get a little scale, almost like a fishing scale or something more sensitive. I could super glue a little nylon string on there and hang it and see what these things weigh inside the tube. You now that'd be very interesting. Uh, also, I've tried to see if I've gotten a current through the tube. Uh, nothing I've been able to detect yet. Uh, I have a more uh, sensitive uh, meter that I'm going to try. Uh, ten minute mark is almost coming up here, and there's so much to talk about this. Uh, I definitely, absolutely, I've got so many ideas in mind yet. So please stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be even better. And, uh, and, well, that's about it. We'll see you in the next video. Signing off.